All right. We are live on the homestead. And this is the chicken coop that uh, we actually finish. Um, we actually have to tweak a few things. Um, it is a 10 by 10 chicken coop. And we had to put it on stands uh, to protect it from water. <clears throat> we have uh, a Lowe's roof that we installed as well. On the inside is yours truly, the chicken lady, the chicken queen. <laughs> this is my wife Odette, who's basically uh, handling her business of uh, feeding the chickens inside the coop. This is inside the coop. Like I said, it's a 10 by 10. We do have uh, linoleum floors um, underneath uh, this here, so it's easy to clean. Um, we have a few hens in here who are uh, laying eggs. These are our eggs. Um, they're different colors. And this is uh, another hen. She's falcon. She's laying blue eggs. Okay, and this is them actually eating, and they have their water. So these are the newer, the newcomers. There's about ten of them. And hey, Falcon, you're trying to sneak out, huh? You're trying to fly out. You're not slick. This one is very smart. A very smart bird. Um, every chance she gets, she'll try to fly out, but they always come back. Like they said, chickens always come back to roost. But um, these 10 birds are the newest. And how old are they, hon? Seven weeks. Seven weeks old. And they're already ready to eat. Be eaten. They're already ready to be eaten, I should say. Okay. All right. Um, Oh, they have eggs here. Oh, they have eggs down there too. So all the um, that's uh oh, I heard her say something. Mm -hmm. The one in the back of you, that's a uh, black oh. falcon. She yeah, she doesn't want you to mess with. She probably covered them up because she want to hide them. Yeah. So they have a little uh, entrance inside the run, so they can actually go out into the yard and free range. No, oh, what's up, what's up, buddy? What's up? You want to get down? You want to get down and go with the roosters? Oh, no. You want to try to go with the roosters? Look at, look at, uh, great falcon. I'm going to go inside the run and show the run. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so that they don't fly out. How's that? Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. So, because they will fly out and then uh, they'll come back later on <clears throat> once it starts to get dark. Once it start to get dark out, but just wanted to move back and show you uh, the visual of the chicken coop. So it's a nice size. Um, we do have to put more roosting bars on the inside um, so that at night they feel more comfortable uh, roosting on the bars uh, in a more heightened uh, condition. But this is the... Um, this is the chicken run, and we have more hens inside the run, inside the yard. And um, these birds are really, they're really cool, they're really passive. And as I indicated before in a previous video, um, this is like one of our passions and, you know, something we do with our spare time. It's a lot of fun, you know. Um, they are laying eggs in here too, as you see. Um, they do have an opportunity to go up inside the coop and, and use the um, and use the uh, nesting boxes, but they don't, so they lay out here too. Okay, so they do have uh, plenty of food. Um, they have a, um, a little sandbox. I always put diatomaceous earth inside so they can keep their um, their feathers and everything are uh, free of lice and it also helped cut down the flies inside the other uh, one as you see um, They do have poop on the ground which is mixed with diatomaceous earth and also some cedar shavings, but it cuts down other flies 
Um, they do have water. Uh, we actually have to, uh, uh oh. Uh, we have to give them some fresh water. So, um, we have to change out their water. They have plenty of food. This is actually their feed. So, as you see here, it's, it's halfway full. They actually stick their necks in at the bottom to eat. And I really don't think they like that too much. Um, <clears throat> we do throw out some, um, some cracked corn. You know. We always throw out some cracked uh, crack corn from the scratch. They love the scratch. As you see here. So. Um, we did get three newcomers last night, as I indicated in the previous video. Um, <clears throat> we actually, we actually picked up two sheep, well, two lamb, I should say, because they're really young, and one goat. These are the lamb. They are really cool. You know, they're, they're shy and they will run from you more than anything. But the little baby uh, goat that we picked up, he's an African, whatever, goat. He's not a Nubian. But he's, um, he's very friendly, has a very good temperament. So these guys here are cool. They'll sit there and just eat up all the grass. And these are our roosters. We actually separated them from the hen, as I indicated earlier in the, in the video. And the reason for separating them was because they were too aggressive. And they actually killed like four of the hens, you know. Um, they were ganging up on them and, you know, trying to mate. And being too aggressive, they actually uh, bit right through the neck of a few of them. You know, and that's not a pecking order. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, so we separated them. And once we separated them, um, the hens started laying more eggs. But these guys are very feisty. They are tough. This is Henry, which is uh, one of the toughest birds we have. And um, man, he's ruthless. And these are the others. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful feathers. Um, hey, this is one of the old timers here on the homestead, along with the mate. There are two females, um, Stevie and Ophelia. Uh, this is the newcomer, um, Mountain, is his name. He's a pet goat. He is a, a cutie. Right. Yes. And he's a beauty. <laughs> this is Mountain. Mountain. We actually put um, diatomaceous earth inside his coat to protect him from any biting flies and fleas and things of that nature. Um, this is the makeshift uh, his makeshift uh, house. Um, inside, we basically have his food. Okay, a little salt um, bar to remind them to drink water. Okay, and this is the coop in the range. From another view, we have a little window uh, inside the coop. But we're not finished the run. We're actually going to take off the blue tarp and um, and put wood or something on the top to, uh, to keep it dry. But to give them a little sunlight also. Alright, and... This guy here, uh, you're probably asking, why is, it, is he on a leash? He is an escape artist. <laughs> this guy can get away. I don't care what you do. He's very, very smart. You know, goats are very smart, but this one seems like he's uh, one of the smartest breeds. What kind of goat is this? South African goat. South African goat. He's very, very smart, you know. And we have an electric fence that's up. It have uh, how many jewels is that fence on? Six, six, six jewels. It's a six jewel fence, and this guy knows how to get right through it. Now, if you touch the fence, you you will get a 
a shock from it and yes it does hurt you know so you get ah, shoot ouch <laughs> you will get a nice uh shock from the fence um so man this is a uh, trailer that we inherited um uh, with the homestead that we actually have to repair so we're going to repair this uh this trailer so that's that's another project we are working on um, yes. maybe ask, ask, ask yes. them a, uh, in the comment if answer them ask in the comment if they know the reason why they used to lost their voices mm -hmm. all right yes the roosters lost their voice could have been from the uh acidic water the vinegar in the water from last week all right so anyway um so here we are hey say hi say hi look at him he is a camera hog oh my gosh yes bah bah look at you look at you and you better not pick on that little one you hear me with your big stomach yeah so all right all right so um the animals were fed earlier so now they're in a relaxing state <clears throat> the goats are not making much noise because they are cool and relaxed and the lamb or they're busy eating they're going to just continue to eat and thank god they can eat up all this grass you know so and there we are there we are people you know um this is our private joy you know this is what we do yes look there's the boss there's the boss she's like okay that's enough of the video let's get back to work so guys i will check you later um please go to our um our channel it's called season homestead and bolo gun range all right so back at you later take care please subscribe to our channel